Welcome to the Cromwell Las Vegas. This is our first time staying here, so we booked the One King Classic Room. First impressions, the room looked exactly like it did in the pictures, which is always a good thing. Very spacious, perfect for a couple's getaway or to get away with friends. This room is available in a two queen as well. They got everything you need, snacks, water, of course it's all censored, fully stocked fridge, so if you grab anything for more than a few seconds, they will charge the room. Of course, if you've been to Vegas, you should know by now, bring your own drinks and snacks, otherwise you're going to be paying up to three times what you would normally pay for drinks compared to a local store. Plenty of storage and drawers to store your stuff. There were a lot of dings here and there, and the wear and tear was visible, but overall, the room was really clean. Every hotel room now has a safe, of course, and all the small amenities that you would expect. We chose this room, uh, honestly, because we wanted something a little bit different than what we're used to. Whenever we book a room in Vegas, we're used to the room being nice and bright with big windows and it, it almost feels like a studio. But we decided to spend a little bit more and this honestly felt very chic. It felt like a parlor. It was everything that we wanted. We don't normally stay on this side of the strip. This is actually center strip. On one side you have the Flamingo, on the other side you have the Horseshoe. And you're right across from Bellagio and Caesars Palace, so there's a lot to do in this area. The Cromwell is definitely a smaller hotel, very small casino, very intimate. But the biggest draw has to be Dre's nightclub and day club, which is actually located on the roof. This is actually the eighth floor and right above us is the nightclub. Here's the vanity. Crystal loved doing her makeup here. You got outlets on every wall, which is a major plus. The staff were very friendly. A check-in was very easy. Unlike MGM, we usually stay at MGM. You can check in on the app ahead of time. Here we had to check in in person to get our room keys. Here's a look at the bathroom, all connected by one sliding barn door. Plenty of towels, nice sink. The shower is what really drew us to the room. You have two shower heads, one on a handle which you can detach, and the rainfall shower head, but you can't use them simultaneously. You have to use one or the other. Just in case you are wondering, water pressure was okay, which is a thing. Some hotels have better water pressure than others, believe me. Oh, and I have to mention, you see that mirror? It's actually almost like a two-way mirror. You can see inside the shower from the outside, but all the lights have to be off on the outside. The thing with the Cromwell and the rooms, the way the building is built, you literally are facing two different directions. All the rooms on one side have this view, which is barely a view at all. But if you want to pay a little bit more, you'll be facing the other way, which is a guaranteed strip view. So if you want a view, make sure you book one that says strip view. If you are looking to park, there's a small parking structure right behind the building. It's a very, very short walk. $20 for hotel guests. Overall, great location, great budget-friendly room. Sign up to be a Caesars Reward member because we booked directly. We did find it for $48, but after taxes and fees, it was just over $106. We love Vegas. Let us know where you want us to stay. Subscribe for more.